In this video, we're going to take a look at how you factory reset a Google Nest Audio. So by performing a factory reset, we will remove the device from our Google account and return the Google Nest Audio back to its initial setup state. This means that typically we would perform a factory reset if we intend to lend, give away or sell our Google Nest Audio. Before we start, please note that in order for your Google Nest Audio to automatically deregister itself from your Google account, you will need to ensure that the device is connected to the internet. To perform a factory reset, we first need to mute our Google Nest Audio. The mic's off. Once the speaker has been muted, the indicator lights on the front of the speaker will display four orange lights. We now need to use our finger to press and hold down the play and pause button, which can be found at the center top of the Google Nest Audio. After roughly five seconds, you should hear the following message. You're about to completely reset this device. Release to cancel. By continuing to hold down on the play pause button, eventually we will hear the following chime. We can now release our finger from our Google Nest Audio to allow it to begin to cycle through its reset process. It will take roughly one minute to perform a factory reset. As our Google Nest Audio is connected to the internet, it will first automatically deregister itself from our Google account. So it's very important that while the Google Nest Audio is being factory reset, we do not remove the power from the device. We will know that the Google Nest Audio has been factory reset when we hear the following message. Hi, to get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. The mic's off. As our Nest Audio is still on mute, don't forget to disable mute. The microphone is back on. With our Google Nest Audio now deregistered from our Google account and returned to its factory defaults, it is now safe to switch off the device and remove it from its plug socket.